Isaiah, yet another astounding game stat-wise. How do you look to continue to bring that approach and performance to the team with uh, ACC play approaching come December and January? Um, I'm going to take it one game at a time. I feel like when I get on the court, play like 100% play to the best of abilities, try to find my teammate, try to get every rebound, try to play the best defense as possible. I feel like that's I'm going to get that throughout the ACC. Next, we'll get questions from Michelle Kaufman from Miami Herald. Okay. I think you're on mute. Yeah, Michelle, you're on mute. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, Coach, first of all, congratulations. Um, Coach had mentioned after the first game that he wasn't happy with the defensive effort, but today he definitely was. Can you talk about what changed um, from the last game to this game in the overall team defense? Thank you. I feel like first game we tried, we got the jitters out. We was trying to figure out what defense we should play, how how we how should we play defense, and just we have like Nas, he's a new player, and Matt just a new player, and try to figure out put them in the system. I feel like they, this game, they figure out, Matt and Nas figure out as a team how we play defense. And I felt like yesterday, the way we was playing defense, we was we had great energy coming in today. I felt real confident of playing defense with the team. Next, we have questions from Chris Stock. So, uh, so I think six for 15 from for you tonight. It's not a great shooting night, but you're, just seem relentless on the offensive end, just kind of your mindset there. And then on the other side, 12 rebounds, what, what kind of led to that and, and your mentality uh, with, with the with the boards there? Um, my mentality is just so when they shoot three-pointers, they is going far. If they shoot a layup, it's going to come short. I feel like I just – I don't really – I just play try to play it smart, try to go for – when they shoot the ball, I know the big's going to tip it. They're not going to get every rebound. So I'm there just waiting, getting the rebound and pushing it. Any other questions for Isaiah? Awesome. Thank you, Isaiah. How you doing, Cam? Congrats on the win. Coach L had mentioned in post game that he liked the way that Miami were moving the ball around tonight. You guys put up around 18 assists tonight. What did you think of the team's ball movement against Stetson? Um, it was great. That was one of the things that we tried to um, really um, really focus on um, throughout the summer. And, um, you know, I'm glad that, uh, you know, we're able to reach our goals. Our goal is to get over 15 assists every game. So we've done that the last two games. Um, I like the way we're sharing the ball. And um, hopefully we can continue to do that throughout the season because that's when we're at our best. Awesome. Next up, we'll take questions from Chris Stock. about maybe, maybe it is what you just said, but just these first two games, what are you most pleased with or what do you like so far um, from these two games or what's your takeaway from these two games? Um, <clears throat> honestly, I, I like the, um, you know, we won our first game, but defensively it wasn't our best, it wasn't to our capability at all. We, we gave up a lot of transition threes. And I think tonight for 38 minutes, we actually played great defense. Um, so I like the improvement in our defense and, the improved, well, the continuous improvement that we've had in our assist because, you know, last year that was one of the things that we really struggled with was getting assists. So the fact that we're moving the ball and playing defense, I mean, those are what, that's what our program's really prided on. So it's good to see us doing those things and those show tonight. Awesome. Next, we'll take questions from Wyatt Copelman. Uh, Cam, Isaiah praised Matt and Nicere for adjusting well tonight, being the newcomers. How do you feel about their performance thus far, both on the offensive and defensive sides of the floor? Uh, real great. They both, um, especially Matt, him being a freshman, you know, he's came a long way from, from um, the first day in summer. And Nas has always, you know, the last, ever, since he's been in college at Cincinnati, he's always been a, a, guy, a guy that has a presence down low and a guy that communicates and talks. So he always helps us. Um, you know, get on the same page, get on sync on the court. And, you know, when you have a guy like that on the court, it's always good to have a guy that talks a lot and gets everybody set up. But um, also I, I, I commend Matt for the strides he's made, like I said, from the summer. Because, um, you know, it's hard for a freshman to 
come in day one and start and, you know, be productive and actually know what we're doing and be up to date with the way we play the offense and defense. So he's done a great job. And, um, you know, I'm proud of both of them and blessed to have them both on the team this year. Next, we'll take questions from Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Cam, congratulations. Um, can you talk about Chris Lights and how he played tonight? It seems like, you know, his energy and electricity kind of uh, sets the tone early, especially tonight. Talk about how he played compared to the first game. Yeah, uh, I mean, you never, you know, Chris Likes never goes three for however much he went last game, uh, two games in a row. So we all knew that last game, you know, just bad shooting night. And he was going to come back and um, play hard. He sets a tone for us, especially on the defensive end. You know, he picks up the ball 94 feet and really pressures it. As you can see tonight, they could barely get in their offense. So, um, Chris did a great job for us. He was also, you know, back to himself, hitting shots. And, you know, that's what we expect from him. Thank you. And the last question comes from Chris Stock. Sticking with Chris, just maybe your reaction. Um, when, when he's down with an injury, you've already lost Sam and rolls out for a little bit. Uh, reaction there. And then also, what are you seeing from Isaiah Wong these first two games uh, with the scoring, the rebound, just how he's been playing? Yeah, um, of course, it's always sad to see a teammate go down. But, you know, in the game, it's always, you know, uh, we still got we still got to play a game. We still got to win. So uh, I was obviously devastated. You know, I came and talked to him. He's doing good. He's feeling better. Um, hopefully we can get him next game. Um, but, I, I mean, just I, I, we all keep him in our prayers and um, hope he comes back for a speedy recovery. And what was the last question? I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah, Isaiah Wong, just the play of Isaiah these first two games. Oh, since day one, we always knew Wong was a bucket. And, um, you know, he's just showing that now. Um, you know, he's finally gotten comfortable in our offense, gotten comfortable, um, you know, just being able to score and rebound, you know, especially on the offensive end. He's always crashing offensive boards. He's the one guard we have that, you know, was always told to go crash the offensive boards. And he plays super hard, played great defense tonight. Zay's come a long way as well from his first couple of games last year to, to now. You know, he's really done a great job on offense and defense. And um, I ex continue to expect what you see from him throughout the year. Thanks, Cam. Congrats on the win. Thank you.